Welcome to the inaugural International Conference on the Deficiency of ADA2. We have 91 U.S. physicians and scientists and 45 international physicians and scientists representing 26 specialties. I cannot believe that we are all here in this room together. It's almost impossible to understand what the loneliness of having a child or being a person with an undiagnosed disease feels like. Um, and every single person in this room knows what that feels like. We're part of a movement creating a new collaborative model of pursuing medical knowledge. Patients, physicians, researchers and nonprofits, government, academia, biotech and pharma, all working together with shared goals. I think we've come to recognize that Data2, many of us first touch it from very different perspectives, and my perspective is as a hematologist. Uh, issues including the refractory anemia, I was very interested here about the Diamond Black fan story, because I've just been asked that question yesterday from a patient in Manchester, so I think I now know the answer. It's been quite remarkable what Chip Chambers has done in less than three years in bringing an international conference of this size and magnitude and depth uh, together after the initial appearance of the condition. We have to be careful when we're saying strokes equals no aspirin equals, you know, uh, ADA2 deficiency. I think it's a subgroup, but it's distinctly different from other childhood strokes. Yeah, and bringing the whole group together, you're now starting to look at what is going on when you when you have a deficiency of ADA2, what cells are involved, what tissues are involved, and bringing that together accelerates, rapidly accelerates what's happening. I think this is also unique because the parents and families are involved right away. We reckon, or they found that that was in fact his third stroke. The first one had been when he was admitted early, when he was about three years old. We came with so lots of mixed emotions, uh, uh, nervous, true. first of all, in what we might learn and how it's going to affect us. Also super excited to meet all these people that we can relate to in terms of our journey, as well as doctors that are passionate about making a difference for these people with this new diagnosis. That too, no matter what happened in the past, we are altering what has going forward into the future. We are positive, okay? What's your political ask? Why are you spending time doing this versus something else? And if you feel like there's a bill on Capitol Hill that really matters for your kids, absolutely you should do that. Je pensais pas un jour pouvoir rencontrer d'autres familles avec les les mêmes histoires que nos filles. On se sent moins seul. To see people with data too and have different experiences are really like uplifting for me. Saying other people have gone through and they know what it is. I'm honored to be a part of it and to listen and to learn. I think there are policy actions that can be taken to accelerate action on this dreadful disease. One has to have good data to make intelligent decisions and that's where getting everybody together and pooling together everyone's experiences is really important. I think Data2 is a great example of how quickly things can move when you really open up channels of communication. And you put that together with an interested cohort of patients and families, then you can really drive things at a much faster speed. I think this is a new paradigm in the field of rare disease. That the patients are so rare, uh, it's very difficult to get valuable information and share it will prompt the research, will prompt the, uh, the, the way to find the care and to benefit directly to the patient. I hope that when I grow up I'll be able to do something that also has the same impact as the people that have helped me and other people with this gene mutation. I want to be somebody like that who can give back to other people and help everybody. The worst part for me was probably when I was, had my big stroke when I was eight and they had to shove a tube down my nose and had a my hope for the future is that 
The doctors find early signs of this so kids don't have to go through the same kind of garbage that I went through. 